What's up, legend? So today we're going to do something a little different. I've always thought to myself over time when you see like a lot of the unreleased samples and uh, colorways and some of the things that they had developed before the actual general releases. And I think to myself, are the samples sometimes even better than the shoes that we actually get released? So today we're going to be taking a look at and rating a lot of my favorite unreleased Yeezy samples. So let's get right into it. So first up here, we got to look at these Yeezy basketball early samples. And I'm hoping that this may be another basketball silhouette that may be coming in the future. Now this picture here is an early sample from the Yeezy season five collection. But it has a really Wave Runner-esque colorway. And I really like these a lot. So these right here, I'm gonna start off and give these a 10 out of 10. I think these are fire. And I hope that somehow or some way or at some point these do release. All right, next up we got a 700 V1. Now this one is kind of like an all white colorway, but it has like that nice bluish greenish color that you also have on the Wave Runners. I think these are really clean. Also really like those leather pants with the gray stripe coming down the side. Those are um, Yeezy Season 5 unreleased pants as well. I'm going to give these an 8 out of 10. I really like these a lot. So this colorway I really like a lot. I always said if I had the chance to design a 700 V1, I would use a lot of pastel colors and kind of just mash them together in different pieces. So this is really close to how I would put together the V1. I would probably use a few more colors in different places, but I like these a lot. I'm gonna go ahead and give these a nine out of 10. This is one of my favorites for sure. Now these next ones here, if you know me, then you know I'm the biggest fan of the 700 V3 silhouette in general that's my favorite silhouette i think that's the best easy silhouette that we have so far very close second i would say the quantum but definitely love the v3s a lot as you can see on this one it kind of this is kind of like a greenish off white but then white and gray colorway man i like these a lot i really like the way that yay styled these as well with those kind of light blue pants i think those go really well with them I'm gonna give these a 10 out of 10 off bucks because of course, I just love the 700 V3 in general. So yeah, that's a 10 out of 10 on this one. Next up, I'm really, really hoping that this silhouette does end up dropping at some point in 2020. Of course, it hasn't been announced yet, but we are hearing rumors that these may drop. This is the Yeezy 450. So we've seen so many early samples of these from the Forbes interview to Ye wearing a pair to Paris Fashion Week. And we even seen that photo that Ye just posted, which we'll talk about in a second. But the 450, I feel like that might be my new wave. That might become my new favorite silhouette over the V3. It just depends on which actual model they do end up dropping and what colorway it's gonna be. So many different colors that we've seen from the Forbes interview. On this version, it seems like they kind of went with more of a sock shoe type of vibe. So I'm going to go ahead and give these a 10 out of 10 just because I really like innovation. I like when things are different. I like when you bring a new flavor. And I feel like from the 450 Soul immediately, it stands out. It's so futuristic. So that brings us to the next one here, which was another 450 sample that we actually seen. And this one actually doesn't have any laces. And it seems as though the upper may be a bit more structured than just like a sock type of shoe. But I can say I love these a lot. Like I'm really just liking where the 450 is going right now. And I'm hoping these do end up coming out. I really just like the colors. I like the structure of it. And as you can see, they added the 3M as well. So, yep, I'm going to give these another 10 out of 10. So yeah, I'm a sucker for the 700 V3 and the 450 right now. Those are my two favorites. I'm really hoping the 450 does drop. Next up, we got this Yeezy basketball sample again. A lot of people feel like this is just an early sample of the Quantum so that these might not be releasing at all. But I feel like I've seen Ye wear these a lot and I've seen them play basketball in them. 
I feel like they give a completely different vibe from the quantum silhouette, but it still gives you a basketball vibe. I'm going to go ahead and say that I think this may be another easy silhouette, and I'm hoping that at some point it does drop. I really just love how all the colors blend, and I'm going to go ahead and give this a 10 out of 10 as well. Now next up, we got pretty much an early sample of the 350 V2. I'm not the biggest fan of the 350 V2 right now, just because of course there's been so many releases, so many colorways. I'm really just on the 380 wave at this point. I'm really looking forward to the 350 V3. But I do like these a lot. This seems to be from the Yeezy Season 3 collection. It's like a metallic silver type of vibe. As you can see, it has those stripes as well, like the zebras have, and even the beluga type of stripes um, on that prime knit. I really like these a lot. I wish that these would have released. So I'm gonna give these a seven out of 10. Next up, we got these 700 V2s. And this kind of gives you like another metallic type of vibe with an off white on it, kind of like a tan. I think this is a really nice colorway. I'm really disappointed that these didn't release, but I think it's possible that we may see more 700 V2s down the line in the future, but um, you never really know. But I like this colorway a lot. If I had to rate this one, I'll give it a seven out of 10 as well. Now this seems to be one of the earlier samples of the 700 MMVN in the bone colorway. As you can see, they went a completely different direction with the final version of the shoe. But I do like these a lot. I really like how it's more of like a see-through. It's a lot more of a white colorway. Um, and I really like the midsole on these. That smoky midsole they have there. I really like that a lot. So if I had to rate these, I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10. Because I really like how these look. But as you guys know, the Bone MMVN is one of my favorite Yeezys. So... I do like the finished product a lot more. I like the material, I like the colors, but I can say I do like these a lot as well. Now, another one of my favorite just samples that we saw in the Forbes interview was all of those quantum samples that were in like really bright, vibrant colors. I really like those a lot. I'm hoping that they do end up dropping. Some of these colorways at least just, I really like how they stand out, especially with that silhouette, that quantum silhouette, which I love everything about. Now, as you can see here, I'm just gonna give all of these a 10 out of 10 easy. I like them a lot. I hope that they do end up dropping these. Of course, we've seen the Yeezy Quantum that ASAP Bari posted that Ye sent out to him. Now, that's like that all blue colorway. I've seen it in a lot of different pictures as well, even like one where it seemed like North was drawn all over it. But I can say I feel like blue is the new wave for Yeezy. We've heard rumors that it may be another quantum that's going to be dropping, which is named Cadmio. And like I told you guys before, my guess is that it's going to be those blue quantums. So I'm really hoping that they do end up dropping. I would give these a 10 out of 10, no question about it. And I'm really looking forward to them. Now these here are a pair of 750s. These are unreleased. But the 750 man I feel like is a classic silhouette. It's a silhouette that I hope does release at some point or restock or maybe they do new colorways for it because I'm a big fan of the 750. I still need a pair myself. I like this colorway a whole lot. I'm going to give these a 9 out of 10. So now we're going to go ahead and take a look at this photo, this amazing photo that we all seen that Ye tweeted with pretty much what may be the Yeezy lineup for 2021. Or it may just be a bunch of samples that we might not see. So we're going to start from the bottom and kind of just work our way all the way up. Just taking a look at these. As you can see in the bottom right here, you got a bunch of 700 V1s and these crazy colorways. I really feel like the Yeezy brand is going in a different direction in the future. Just as far as incorporating more vibrant colors that we've never seen on Yeezys before. It's always been a lot of earth tones, but I feel like they're becoming a lot more versatile with the colorways that they're using. So that's something I'm really looking forward to and I'm hoping that these are gonna be releasing in 2021. 
you can see to the left of those 700 V1s, you got the 700 V3s. Now these colorways look very unique. Now you can see the Seraphim colorway. You even got some darker tones. Really excited about those. Of course, you guys know the 700 V3 is my favorite silhouette. So I can't wait to see what they're gonna be doing with these in the future. To the right of those, you have like a bunch of, what seems to be 700 V2 statics. Now, of course, we can't really see what the difference might be with those, but I'm sure that it's there for a reason. So I'm really curious to see what the future is for the 700 V2 static and why it's even included in this picture. But I'm sure knowing A is a reason why it's there. Maybe it's a restock, maybe they're redesigning them. Just really excited to see what they do end up doing. Over all the way to the left, as you can see, another silhouette that we've seen already. It seems as though these are a bunch of 700 V3 Azaleas. But the difference is he also tweeted out what seemed to be a foam runner version of the Yeezy 700 in the Azale colorway. So pretty much had the prime knit of the Azale, but then instead of that kind of plastic material, it seems as though they might be going with a foam material. So that's interesting, man. Really looking forward to see what they do end up doing with that. Now, if you look above those 700 uh, V2 statics, a beautiful, beautiful circle of Yeezy Quantums. Now, it seems as though they're even going in a completely different direction with those colors as well. But it does seem like they are sticking with the midsole and the heel of the OG Quantums, which is good because I like those a lot. But as you can see, they have with like a burgundy color there. You can see they have the blue ones. They have darker tones as well. If you look to the left of the Quantum, you also see another amazing circle of Yeezy 450s. I'm hoping that they do release more versatile colorways and not just all black, which is in this circle. But we just gotta wait and see what they do end up doing. To the right of the Quantums there, as you can see, you got your Yeezy 500 lows. Now shout out to my boy Prince Mark Anthony, the 500 King. I know he was excited to see this. And the next one here, if you look to the left, you got all of those Yeezy 500 highs. And as you can see, even looking at both of these, it seems as though they're doing the same thing as far as just incorporating more vibrant colors, being more versatile. So I'm really excited. I'm a big fan of the 500 high. Above the 500s here, you can see they have the Yeezy Foam Runner. Now, as you can see, it pretty much looks like they're going with a bunch of earth tones on the foam runners. It's just a lot of brown. You got light brown, you got gold, you even got dark brown. Um, it seems like it's even a black there. But of course, what stands out to everybody is that red foam runner color there, as you can see to the right. So really excited. The foam runner is maybe the most comfortable shoe I've ever worn personally and one of my favorites. So definitely looking forward to see what they do as far as the colorways go with the foam runner. And to the right of that, you can see they kind of got like these dust bags, like these paper dust bags that say foam on it. To the left of the foam runners, they have the desert boots. So it seems like they're incorporating a lot of different colors with the desert boots as well. So I'm excited about that. Um, and then you even see above the desert boots, they got the slides now. With the slides here, it seems as though it's nothing that we haven't seen already. I do see what may be like a pastel type of pink color there, but then you got like pretty much the colorways that we've seen and a lot of the earth tones as well. Above that next up, you pretty much got what seems to be the Yeezy 450 slides. So that's like a foam material, just like the foam runners but it's more of a slide type of silhouette and it has that sole of the 450. So that's something that I've seen some pictures of that I'm really excited about. Um, they look extremely comfortable. So as you can see, it seems as though they have a lot of different colors that they've been playing with as well. This picture really shook things up in the Yeezy community, has everybody excited to see what's gonna actually happen with all of these colorways and silhouettes. So I'm just really excited about where the Yeezy brand is going. I feel like 2020 has been an amazing year so far. 
and I feel like the Easy Brain is really just getting started and it's a lot more to come. I'm very curious to know you guys' opinions as well. So go ahead and tell me what your ratings would be for these Easy Samples as well in the comment section. And I want you guys to tell me what are some of your favorite samples that you saw from this photo as well. Like what are you looking forward to the most? Now that's pretty much it on this one, man. Make sure that you guys tune into the Easy Talk podcast every single Wednesday at 8 p.m. Eastern time. We also rate Easy Fits at the end of the program. So if you'd like us to feature your fit, make sure you tag me. John Alexander, Prince Mark Anthony, or St. Kansas on Instagram. I'm gonna have all their IGs in the description below. And just tag us in your best easy fit so we can feature you and reach your fits on the program. Make sure that you guys leave a comment, tell me what your ratings are, tell me what your opinions are. Now remember, these are just my opinions. I'm going off the top of my head. I'm giving these ratings, so don't take them too seriously. But I can tell you, man, I'm really excited about a lot of these shoes. You guys tell me what you agree with, what you don't agree with, or what your ratings would be. And also just make sure you like the video. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Got a lot of great content coming up for you guys. Definitely gonna keep it going. And I definitely wanna take this time to thank everybody for all your support through my journey so far. I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing without everybody supporting me. So thank you very much for everyone that has subscribed. Thank you guys for all your support so that's pretty much it on this one man i thank you guys very much for taking the time to watch the video and i catch you on the next one salute legends